What's up everybody, I am Goner, and today we are back in the creamy, creamy goodness that is Milk Maid of the Milky Way. Um, if you remember last time, we left off on this alien spaceship, um, and we have like butter and a book, and that's about it, and um, kind of limits our options. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't remember. Back in that eight bit, th eight eight bit thickness. Let's go. Okay, let's not go. Okay, let's go back down. It must be in the back somewhere. Then I don't. I don't know what we're supposed to do. We gotta make that butter do something. Can we go? No. This is the hot plate. I've been down to investigate. It was a very hot metal plate. Let's put the book on Oh, no, we cannot put the book on it. You can't put the butter on it. No need to know that it wasn't yet cool, but the butter was still a greasy, oily pool. Can I go? It was unlike any airplane I'd seen. No propellers. It was a hovering machine. Can I make it over here where I just clicked? No, I cannot. Okay. Uh, something like that. No propellers. The, I could feel the heat from where I stood, like a furnace burning forest, not just wood. Can I put the butter in the en the engine? <laughs> Irk. Oh, that didn't work. Well, that is irksome. Did I make it onto the? It, did I make it on in a way I shouldn't have been able to make it? Apparently that didn't work. Can I just walk up this thing? The huge dome glistened in the sun. I looked for windows but found none. Let's butter this thing. <laughs> I said with a grudge. What if we butter one of these things? It's a smooth metal plate that I couldn't lubricate. Maybe the melted butter would grease the edges of this metal piece. Okay, so that one worked. Okay. The butter filled the edges and disappeared. That was my last chance, I feared. The hatch still would not budge. Maybe if I... Oh, there it is. Fudge! But I'm in, boyo. Let's go get me cows. Uh oh. I'm inside of the belly of the beast. I had bruised my lip, but I was inside of the ship. It was dark down that way. My eyes were used to the light of day. Well, it's dark this way too, just less so. I felt fear. I heard footsteps near. Oh, that the old man spoke in a strange tongue. His voice and face were far from young. Instead of trying to understand, I turned away and ran from the man. That's fair. Oh God, there's more. The queen-like figure stared with eyes so tense. She spoke in a language that made no sense. I told her quite frankly, I don't understand. Your words must derive from a faraway land. I think in that moment we both understood. Speaking like this would do us no good. Oh, so she just read my mind. Her words sounded strange, but now they made sense. She asked me my name, her voice slightly tense. Polite. I told her the truth. My name is Ruth. Ruth, she said, her eyes narrow. It sent a tremor through my marrow. This is the Vita. Welcome aboard. You managed to get here of your own accord. I am Amrita. Call me impressed. Getting on board must have been quite a quest, it was. What can I say? I faced my fear. I couldn't just stay and see my cows disappear. This youthful irreverence, I find it refreshing. This might all have been a blessing. I came for my cows, lady. I needed to ask, ahem, where are my cows and why did you take them? Your questions are many, I'm sure. Let me rather give you a tour. 
Come, she said, and gestured me to follow. Down the corridor, our footsteps sounded hollow. I made an alien friend. We go with her, yeah. There we go. Ooh. Oh, it's a beauty. This looks like butter. Is it a butter pool? Welcome to the Veda. Come with me. There is much to show and much to see. I think it's a butter pool. Ruth, please, up this way. I don't want you to get in the way. Uh, hurry up, old lady. Old alien lady. Oh, what? Oh. Those are some space cows. This is the biodome, our holy retreat. Here the animals sleep and eat. The dome was filled with air and light. It was truly a magnificent sight. This is the high point of our tour. As you can see, your cows are secure. Are those other cows? All I could say, what are they? Once the milk beasts were plentiful and diverse. Now these are the last four in the universe. Did she take my cows to breed alien cows? Emritas hung, head hung low. Whoa, the last bull died aeons ago. Uh, as I asked, my heart nearly skipped a beat. Are my cows merely food for your beasts to eat? Emrita laughed. Milk beasts are herbivores. They are peaceful and only eat grass, of course. What did you do to my head with your wand just before, I said. The brief pain notwithstanding, it gave you the gift of understanding. So that's how I understand. I must see your cows. I got word from our herdsman. He says they are wonderful. Quite the specimen. I'ma make space milk. These huge beasts were a sight to behold. Peaceful and leathery, they surely looked old. Give me that cow. Milk beasts they were called, and they were grand. It, its eye was the size of the back of my hand. Let's go look at my cows. Come here, girly. This one looks so dead. Wait, no, that's a bull, or is he the dead bull? I let out a breath of relief. They hadn't ended up as ground beef. This is Pal, our expert on bovine. He says your cows are divine. You know it. His voice was old. I must admit, these are beautiful. A perfect fit. A perfect fit, you say? For what, if I may? Don't do it. Don't you do it. For the sacrifice, of course, he said without remorse. What sacrifice? Tell me now, and no lies. Girl, please stop your crying. You see, our breed is slowly dying. Through vision blurred, I heard, only your cows can save our herd. My heart sank like a stone. You kill my cows to save your own? Not kill, per se, but a sacrifice must be made, I'm sorry to say. What does the sacrifice comprise, and why does it lead to my cow's demise? I understand what, you, what I'm saying is bold. We transfer youth from the young to the old. Ugh. To believe it must be seen, let me show you the age machine. I don't like this. Her voice was proud. She said, Ruth, this is the machine that regains lost youth. It, oh my god, it's like the princess bride. Your cows will save our holy herd when we ha have their age transferred. Why do you need my cows for this? It felt like being swallowed by an abyss. A trade must be made for aging to reverse. These are the laws of the universe. Matter for matter, they must be the same. Age is an ember, but youth is a flame. Okay, well, they're not the same. They're different types of cows, so rip your cows. Please, there must be some other way. I will do anything, anything you say. Amrita's lips curled. Anything, girl? Let's not stay and chat. See that circle? Step into that. Oh, I'm, I'm sacrificing my youth for my cows. I asked her what she wanted. She scowled like she was taunted. She said it with a badly hidden aggression. Give me your most valuable possession. I'm gonna die in front of my cows. In an unexpected rage, you cried, Give me your age! Bones bent, grin crawled, heart pounding, my mind appalled. This game is like mildly dark. Uh, 
Oh no, I'm an old lady now. <laughs> Checking the hair. I'm happy to see you up and awake. I'm sure you're confused. Your body must ache. Aww. <laughs> The man seemed understanding. I didn't have to explain that every part of my body was in excruciating pain. Why is my body different? I asked in dismay. And why has my blonde hair turned so gray? Your youth was stolen by our queen when she put you in the age machine. His shocking words cut me like a knife. With a poof, I was at the end of my life. But what can I do? Can it be reversed? Can I get young again? Or am I cursed? I'd love to help you, but I have no years to spare. The ship is filled with elders as far as I'm aware. Now please excuse me, I have lots of work to do. The feast is soon upon us, and I would hide if I were you. Why am I hiding? Oh god, can I run? I need to hide. These are all old aliens. The woman looked like a great-grandparent, just skin and bones, almost transparent. Can I hide on this bed? There was a bed left free. I hoped it wasn't meant for me. Let's go press this button. I should not have pressed the button. A glowing matter was shining. Oh, hmm. Everything seems to be in order here. I'll have to go back to my brewing beer. Okay, let's read what this is again. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I messed up. It looked like a rising beam could reverse gravity, but not just quite. A glowing matter shining so great under the stuck bent metal plate. I hadn't been here long, but I guess it meant that something was wrong. Oh, there you go, girl. It was hard on my body to kneel, but I picked up a bolt made of steel. Alright. Well, then, let's... Let's ring this bell, and then let's run over this way. Steal this. I could take the glass, yes, but that would create a big wet mess. Get the other glass! I picked up the empty jar. Now where was the nearest bar? Lol. I'ma drink my way out of this. Alright, now I'm gonna press the button. He dips he doodles into here. And now we go change the glasses. I can take the glass, yes, but what am I search change it? There you go, boom. I switched the glass, hoping what I was doing wouldn't cause problems for the doctor's brewing. Don't mind me! Where am I? What year is it? Let's see what this one The sleeping person will go, okay. It's just old people stuff. Annoying middle blah, blah, blah. Let's see if we can, like, bolt it up. I didn't have any plans, but I needed tools, not just my hands. Can I not go up yet? No, I cannot. Reverse gravity, but just not quite. I need tools. Do I just... Can I go over this way more? No. I need to find tools, apparently. Hmm. Hmm. Ho hum. Okay, so there's the right side, cool. Oh, what's up, girl? Don't mind me, I'm old as hell. What's up? I asked the lady who was sewing. Hello there, how is it going? Hello, dear, I'm awfully occupied. Her face looked puffy, like she'd recently cried. I'm Ruth, the milkmaid, I said. I'm Anissa, I work the needle and thread. The sewing looked terribly painstaking. What may I ask, are you making? Oh, my stars, I'm going to be sick. This caping I'm making is far too thick. And Rita demands a flowing cape, but my fabrics are heavy and won't hold its shape. I can't make this cloth fly like silk in time before the feast of milk. Do you know a way to get young again? Maybe I could trade years with some younger men. The seamstress went quiet, her sewing slow. She muttered, I'm sorry, I wouldn't know. Oh, oh, wait, there's a child! Goodbye! Ah, damn it.
A burning flame with no sense of gravity. It was floating midair in the huge round cavity. It was a revolving spool, spinning like a whirlpool. I could feel my ideas dwindle. That did not work on the spindle. What's this? I gave it a stare. Nothing was there. Okay, so we probably have to go get stuff to pop whatever that is open. Or mess it up enough. A crate, probably used for freight. It's down this way. Let's explore the ship. Hello. Ah, oh, I see you have some tools. Hello. Hello there, miss. I'm the mechanic of this. You look new. Have I seen you before? What did you come down here for? I explained my dire situation. Vish shook his head for the whole duration. How can she demand our support when all she does is extort? If I wasn't this old, I'd disobey. My power tools would sure make way. What are you repairing? I asked and looked at the strange thing. This is a hover sled, an old design. We use it to herd our bovine. But there's been problems with the steering. It has the tendency to suddenly start veering. And of course, no one here can ride the sled. We're all too old and will soon be dead. Do you need help to fix it? I can aid. You just have to teach me the tools of the trade. There's not much you can do to help, I think, unless you get me something cool to drink. Oh my god, do I have the thing for you, buddy. I did it. Awesome! Okay, <laughs> you are a kind woman. You're the first who's come down here to quench my thirst. He's a thirsty boy. I already gave you a drink, dude. Okay. He looked up and said with a certain snide, to use that dimension focuser, you need to be qualified. Okay, asshat. Hey there, let me set you straight. No one touches my void crate. Don't touch that, he said with a scoff. That power tooth will rip your face off. What are you repairing, may I ask? That tool is meant for a specific task. Didn't I just feed you? Curse this broken hover sled, the sweating mechanic said. What? I just gave him a drink. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to go back and drink him again? This is stupid. Why are you an asshole? Oh, that's frustrating. I did the thing, and he's just an ungrateful sack of shit. Oh, oh, oh no, I broke the game. I broke it. Okay, I legit broke it. All right, well, I'm gonna end that here. I gotta get him a second drink. I don't know what the deal is. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'm gonna bounce back and forth here until I die of old age. Uh, <laughs> this was Milkmaid of the Milky Way, um, also known as Ingrateful Aliens and their jerk queen. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm Goner, and I will see you the next time we hop on a spaceship and infiltrate it using butter. Uh, have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>